happy birthday happy birthdays to you aries it's uh, really your time of the year so i am saying oh happy birthday to the aries okay aries um let's jump in and see what is happening what is coming up what is going to be transpired so um whoever is having birthday from the 23rd until the 29th um, this is a, a definitely your year. So let's see what is happening and what is transpiring. So first, um, it's going to be a mixed reading. I like doing that. So you see what you have, um, to work with. So first, um, this year is a year of judgment. So it's a year of water. Okay. So what we're having here is that whoever born on the 23rd, there is going to be some changes. Whoever born on the 24th, you're coming out of some karmatic issue. Whoever born on the 25th, I see peace is coming in um, in this year. So right after your birthday, whatever issues and situation that you're dealing with, I see peace is coming in. Whoever is born on the 26th, I see you're going to be successful in this year. This year is a year of success that is going to be coming in for you guys. Okay. So, whoever is born on um, the 27th, I see um, relocation traveling is coming up. Some of you could be returning home. Some of you could be relocating to another um, area. So, however, that is transpiring and coming up for you, I see the energy of relocation. So, um, uh, who was born on the 28th i see news is going to be coming in so you might be having a new start which is very very good a new start is uh, um could be in um in action uh, let's say it like that and whoever was born on the 29th i see you ladies or the feminine energy is going to be coming up now overall i see an end to issues and situation whatever is transpiring I'm seeing an end to issues and situation that was transpiring in your life. And when this comes up, it's like a fast end. So whatever comes up in your world, it's just going to be like a fast end that is coming in. So um, be aware of that. So let's um, first look at each individual person. And remember that this year is a year of water. It's a year of judgment. So we're going to be looking at individual people and situation that has been transpiring. So let's um see what is coming out for the people who are born on the 23rd so i see communication i see transition in communication however that is happening however that is coming up i see some changes is definitely coming up for you people and it is going to be changes with communication so however that is happening and transpiring it's definitely going to be changes for communications that is going to be coming up for you now this can be in different forms however this is happening and transpiring it can be in very much different forms however it comes up in your world uh in your life uh, it is always like in a different form now this year is going to be a year of peace for you guys i was trying to do another layout but to hell no it won't happen so um so communication is going to be the key and i see fast communication is going to be transpiring also so changes in the way you communicate is going to be coming up but um i see changes with kids is also going to be transpiring in your world now it is a very much very important um for you guys in order to understand the energy that is appearing so i see um there is um an investigation could be happening um where because there is the energy some of you could be ending a situation with an aquarian gemini or libra this man could have been your partner whoever this partner is okay and i see you're dealing so a lot of you who were born on uh, um the 23rd you're having some legal issues um, definitely legal issues you're having issues with your parents you're having legal issues issues with your parents communication needs to be the key 
there is no um, clear communications as to what is happening and transpiring. And I see changes is going to be coming into that. So some of you could be having issues with parents, issues when connecting with your parents, however that is coming up, or issues with communicating with your parents. I see also for some of you, you're going to be having some legal issues or someone is like investigating something about you. Okay. So if you are born on the 23rd of April, this year is going to be a fast pace in here. You have all these hair energies and uh, that is coming at you and people who are in the legal field. If you're a, le uh, um, a lawyer, you're going to be having a lot of case. So, um, some of you, I'm not seeing an ending that is coming in because this is more communication and this has to do with legalities. Okay. It could be your parents. One of your parents could be an Aquarian Gemini or Libra, whether man or woman they're showing up here, but it is over a lot of communication that has to do with legalities for some of you are, um, you could be, um, a legal Kirk or, or some of you, some of you could be getting um, work in a legal clerk office but there are changes that is coming up that has to do with legalities and a whole lot of uh, um, communication that is coming because we first see um, this energy of an Aquarian Gemini or Libran now if you're married to these very people I see um, the relationship could be ending if you're married to an Aquarian Gemini or Libran the relationship could be ending. I see communication that is coming up that is going to be ending the relationship between you and these people. Whatever is transpiring is, is a lot of fast space energy. It is your fire sign and you could be um, connected with all these air sign people and a lot of communication, a lot of fast space communication. So be aware of that for the people who are born in the 23rd. Now you have the energy of number 17, number 17, um, when it is lower is the energy of eight. So it has something to do with money. It has something to do with past karma, infinity, something that is infinity. So be aware of that and try to figure out where is this energy? What is happening? Where is this energy coming from? And what exactly is happening in your world? Then as, uh, so your number is 17 and eight. Okay. 17 and eight. As we move forward to the people who were born on the 23rd, the 24th, what we're seeing is, um, the end of a deceptive situation. Okay. The end of a situation. So if you were born on, um, the 24th, what you're having in this year is that if you were a business person, I see an end to um, your business, an end to a deceptiveness that was occurring around your business with your business. For you men, I see your business ending. So if you were born on the 24th, your business is going to be ending. Some of you are having issues with your father, but it is more of issues with um, a businessman. Or if you're in business, I see the end is coming in whatever issues and situation that you guys were going through. However, these issues was coming up with financial stability, your boss, because this is the energy also of a boss. Some of you might be changing jobs in this year. Okay. So it depends because the cross is a burden. It's as if some of you are carrying a burden that a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man has created. Now it could be the energy of a boss. It could be the energy of an ex-husband, an ex-father, um, a stepfather, but whatever this energy is that you have been carrying, it's coming to an end because I see you're turning your back, you're turning your back, you're leaving, you're taking on, um, the sense that I can't help this person anymore. This situation is too burdensome for me and I'm letting it go and I'm moving forward. So this is a really wonderful positive alignment of energies because what is transpiring is that your burden is going to be leaving. Okay. You're putting down your burden and you're saying, I have had enough. I can't do this anymore. So, um, it is, it could be a business that, um, but most of you are going to be turning your backs on a partner or a father that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a brother, someone 
who is older than you are and has been very burdensome so it's always coming up as a boss a brother a husband a partner and I see you're going to be communicating that and making sure that people know where you stand with a situation so I see that this is a year where you decide this person has been my burden for so long and I'm handing this because I need to find myself again I need to heal myself from this burden that I've been carrying and you're standing your ground and you're saying this is where it stopped this is how far it goes I am letting go and I am moving to better shores better people better situation in my world because I have been so burdened down by this person whoever this person is I see that some of you are really communicating um, and saying um, life has brought me in the situation but I'm going to be releasing myself out of the situation so I see a lot of people who have businesses going to end their business or change businesses so, but the communication is going to be very clear because I see you're saying this to this person because some of you have been working for someone for a very very long time and this person has been just so irritating and uh, what you're going to be doing um, for this year is that you're making a promise to yourself that I no longer want to deal with this person. I no longer want to deal with the situation. I'm moving forward. I'm letting go of this situation because I don't want to have to deal with this person in this situation. And I think you have all right. It is your right to make this decision. So I see you cutting down and it has to do with work and the way you create your financial abundancy. Okay. And I see um, you're taking, so a lot of relocations could be happening where you're just taking your family, packing up your family, moving on and said, I am leaving this. This is not serving me anymore. So it's a year where you're going to be finding yourself because you're releasing your burdens and it has to do with a boss or a business situation for some of you or a father that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a father figure or a husband where you're saying I've had enough. Now your numbers is going to be six, six and uh, 36, nine. So six, um, 9 and 36 6 9 and 36 as we may move forward for the people who were born on the 25th this is a peaceful and especially for younger people this is going to be very peaceful very kind very easy um, this is a sense of uh, a lot of peace is going to be coming in your life because you're going to be creating your own um, and manifesting your life moving forward so um, whoever that was having obstacles and having situation that was transpiring and happening I see you're going to be bringing peace back into your life and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because uh, um, you're going to be doing a good job doing that because I see you successfully um, coming out celebrating and this is so good so um, seeing that this year is judgment it's as if you're clearing up a lot of stuff okay it's as if uh, you're bringing peace in your world and you're doing this happily overcoming celebrating if some of you were dealing with someone who was a cancer I see you're going to be successfully bringing peace to whatever the conflicts was or is in your life this is about collaborating with other people to bring peace back in their life and in your life and this is going to be very positive then I see peace is coming in at home and at work and however this as uh, this is going to be transparent whether it's a work whether it's in your home I see a lot of celebration so you guys are going to be celebrating so some of you could be getting married this year which is a very very promising and it's going to be a marriage that is going to last for a very long time some of you are going to be buying new houses some of you are going to be relocating some of you are going to be building new houses but whatever endeavor you're doing it is a positive endeavor because it's going to be creating a lot of possibilities for you in your world and this is going to give you a sense of I finally find inner peace and with that inner peace 
you're healing yourself and you're healing your family because you're creating so i see a lot of people building new houses a lot of people having weddings to go to or is getting married but it's such an happy happy time um this year is as if this year become the year of happiness for you because peace is here be careful what you're doing because um people will try and stab you in your back and uh, this is what is transpiring is that you bring peace to some deceptive situation that was happening in your world okay um a lot of people had created negative energies negative uh, information created deceptiveness around you and what is here and what is transpiring is that with peace because this is uh, why you have created this peace and happiness is because people have done you wrong in the past and uh, the last couple of years 10 years going maybe more people have done you wrong and i see finally finally there is peace in your world and peace in your life and happiness and joy is coming in and do not let anyone take your happiness and joy but be careful because um there is still people out there that is waiting um to um take you down so that was for the people who were born on the 25th you have three, you have four, and you have ten, one, and zero. Okay, thirty. So thirty, three, um, four, ten, one, and zero. Okay, and three. So you have a lot of numbers to work around. Now the numbers that I give you guys, you can use them in so many different ways. People tell me how they use them to win the lot three and that sort of a thing, and stop the video and go back stop the video and go back and um um you can use the numbers uh, um to uh, create stability and abundance in your world and it's just going to be just so fabulous all right so enjoy your year um you have twice 333 the ascendance master so some of you are going to be balanced out the spirituality it is going to be a very positive word you're definitely going to be balancing out the spirituality in your world and this is going to be good because it's a positive alignment of energies and this is going to be wonderful because it's as if um you're releasing yourself and it's as if the 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 the, the energy and the frequency around you is releasing you from all that was blocking you okay and you know when you come flat out on the ground with 10 swords in your back there is no there is no place further you can go and now you're picking up yourself in this year and moving yourself forward we're looking at the people who were born on the 26th and the people who are born on the 26th is a happy 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 year for you but it's also a very successful year for you so i see a lot of success is going to be coming in whenever this energy come whether it's upside down or reverse I see that it's going to bring you success is going to bring you long term stability and balance in your world, long term stability and balance in your world. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because what is transpiring and what is happening is that um, if you have a situation at work or at home, your financial stability is going to be stable in the, this year success is going to be coming to you it's going to be unbelievable you are not aware of what is about to open up for you guys so when we look at the four of ones upright with the sun it's all about um a lot of you creating your financial stability so you're going to be building else you're going to be like multitasking having new jobs you're going to be creating um, business for yourself you're going to be opening up your own doors because this is what Aries are and this is what the fire signs are and this is why I don't understand how you guys don't um, share 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 my videos and listen to my videos because you are the power um, the power pinnacle of all the signs you fire signs like rock the rest of the signs so whatever is happening and transpiring you got to understand that you are the stable for the rest of the signs people take it personal you can't take these people these readings personal take what resonate and leave the rest okay so 
what I'm saying is that um, finally you're coming out of hardship because you were in some hardship and this is why this year is giving you long-term stability is because you have been in some hardship some real hardship you have been going through things that you sometimes ask yourself why am I here if I have to go through all of this and this is what I say to a lot of you guys is that you came to this planet in order to help other people clear their karmas so a lot of you have gone through so many hardship dealing with other people and that sort of a situation and some of you at some stage wanted to give up but it's as if you got the push, the push to move forward and in this year you're going to be seen that finally 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 you're successfully overcoming because these are the two most important cards these these are the helpers to tell you what you were in coming out to become this okay and most of you it was hardship you you had so many hardship and so many situations you were dealing with and i see you're going to be successful some of you could have been dealing with um um some issues where it comes to family situation and i see that some of you are going to be building financial stability for the family this is going to be a very very wonderful year when it comes on to families and um, the collectiveness of families this is going to be such a positive year where you're seeing all of this situation is being transformed in a very 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 positive way and in a very positive light so I see healing is coming up for the family but I see success is coming up both for you and your family um, especially for the people who has been going through hardship for you and your business especially for people who were having issues with their business um, problems with their business I see that this energy is basically coming up and it's going to be very positive so if you guys are sick or if you become sick in this year it's like a fast 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 is, is as if you're going to be finding the right thing to get you um, your sick your sinus you know whatever hardship that you get thrown in with family it's going to be resolving like with a snip of a wrist because it's as if you're going to be on the point to know exactly how to resolve these issues it's all about family for you guys that is born on the 26th it's all about family family is going to be the stone in your back in this uh, um year okay and this is beautiful because uh, you're successfully coming out of some hardship with a family and um, with people in your life you're successfully leaving that hardship with family and situations in your life and it is beautiful now write your numbers down you have 31 4 again 4 then you have 5 and then you have uh, um, 10 okay 10 is always 1 and 0 so this is good because all of these numbers because four is angels okay and you have 44 so you have a double energy where it's never broken down you have 44 and that is angels your angels and guides are going to be helping you to create these you know successful situation with family and family members because you know if your family is anyone in your family is studying doing any exams and that sort of a thing it's just going to be clearing up and just moving out and this is going to be good all right we are moving on happy birthday again we're moving on to the people who are born on the 20 um the 27th i want to say congratulations happy birthday a lot of relocation a lot of traveling a lot of relocation finally some of you are going to get to go on that vacation that you have always wanted to go on um and this is going to be wonderful because i see relocation traveling you guys are going to be traveling a lot you're going to be relocating if you were waiting on travel documents it's going to be the year that it's going to be coming in there we go i see um an end is coming up some of you if you were always traveling for work i see you're going to be finding a job that is more um closer to you if you were traveling to see a partner overseas i see this partner is going to be in the same region of you if you I see you could be relocating to live with this person or this person is relocating to live with you but it's all about traveling it's all about traveling and whatever that was transpiring I see the end uh, whatever that was transpiring I see the end is coming up 
where if there was a lot of traveling some of you um I end is coming up because uh, I um it could be um the energy of uh, um the virus that some of you can't travel so I'm seeing um like you are blocked to travel okay some of you could find out that you're blocked to travel however this is coming up because remember the the virus and that sort of a thing and really I don't want to give this thing any light but it could be because of that some of you wanted to travel and won't be able to travel um, in this year the zodiac year for you because uh, you might be sick or someone could be sick or, or however it is I the situation of travel is being blocked whatever that you were expecting some of you could have been expecting some news over some travel documents or that it's not coming in so however that is transpiring um, I see this information um, it's not gonna come in as, as if so if you apply to another country or something like that I see it's not going to be coming in whatever is happening and transpiring I see this information is not going to be coming in and the reason why um, because you were waiting it's as if some of you were waiting for news the reason why it has to do with uh, um, especially I said something about traveling for work I see that it is going to be ending so if some of you were traveling a lot for work let's say you were air hostess and that sort of a thing it's going to be ending in this year so however it is coming up for you I see a situation with traveling um, you are not capable to travel and if you work for the travel industry I see um, it's going to be ending for you um, uh, is the, yeah so people in the traveling industry there's going to be um, like your jobs are ending this year because it's like there is a stop on travel and your job jobs are going to be ended for the rest of you people I see relocation so um, you could be relocating however that is transpiring you could be relocating however that is coming up okay so I see um, twice six so it's all about you focusing on your materialists um, materialistic stability twice six and it has to do with work so a lot of people who work in the travel industry however I see an end is coming in to that so we have three and we have twice six um, so six six to six and we have eight but eight is um, always infinity so eight has to do with you're going to be more focusing on work okay building a financial stability all right so uh, again three six 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 eight okay twice six all right so we're moving on to people who are born on the 27th uh, 28 sorry um, news is coming in and news is coming in to tell you about the end of a situation so um, this is wonderful this is positive um, it is positive alignment of energy it is a wonderful positive situation that is transpiring this is good um, really positive um, so whatever the issue and the situation is I see news is coming in that a situation is now ended and this is good because it's ended in a good way um, a positive um, ending that is coming in it was something that you were open and waiting for and this is going to be good so good news is going to be coming up in this year for you guys so it's going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful and I see um, you are um, protecting yourself in this year and some of you had an issue and a situation um, with people and situation that was very deceiving I see you protecting yourself from this so it's like a year that some negative um, situation with other people is now ended and you're protecting yourself and your money you're protecting yourself and your money and um, some of you are going to be receiving some money is going to be returned to you um, some money that someone has taken or some money that was um, someone has overcharged you or something like that but the money is going to so I see some good news is coming in that the end to a deceptive situation that you were dealing with people and situation um, where some money um, 
is going to be returned to you some of you this money is coming in from a child um so this is very good whatever is transpiring this money is definitely coming in from a child i see you're protecting yourself um i see that some of you could be paying out some money whatever is transpiring i see some of you could be paying out some money so however that is coming up and however that is transpiring i see that some of you could be paying out some money or some of you or blocking some um, deceptiveness around some money is as if they want you to pay out some money but whatever whoever was trying to distort you of some money it is over whoever that was trying to distort you of some money it is now over and this is really really positive this is just one of the most positive things so it is a good year because I see that some of you are going to be learning um, to protect yourself and protect your money and protect anything that has to do with money protect your kids i see protection of your kids i see some of you could be protecting yourself from your kids using up your um resources that's um that sort of a situation is coming in so i see good news is coming in where um if you had a business and someone was uh, skimming from your business i see um you're going to be finding out and it's going to be resolved okay so you have the energy of one, you have the energy of 21, um, you have the energy of three, you have the energy of seven, and you have the energy of uh, a message, message, it's a light, messages is coming in, and this is God. So I want to say thank you, I am looking at the people who are born on the 29th. Now ladies, whatever is happening in this year, you ladies are going to be making a lot of money. So if you were born on the 29th of March, it's all about the money. You ladies are going to be making a lot of money. So, um, however, this is coming up in your world, ladies, I see, um, it's like you're creating your own financial, uh, stability. And this is just so good. It's like so much money. It is the energy of the eight of pentacles and, um, what is transpiring is that a lot of you ladies are going to be just focusing on work it's all about work it's all about focusing on work i see some of you could have turned your back and relocate and look for a job in another place and this is going to make you a lot of money so it's, it's as if you ladies come to a point that yeah i don't like it anymore where i am you relocate and then bam you get this job and you're focused and you're making money as if like nothing okay it's as if you change your career and bam you you yeah there you go you're changing your career bam you're making a lot of money a lot of you are going to get pregnant in this year so be aware whatever is transpiring a lot of you are going to get in pregnant or um uh um getting pregnant or you're going to be having um young children coming in your life okay so um it is absolutely absolutely wonderful because what is um, showing up here is that um a lot of you uh, people who were born on the 29th is just going to be focusing on making money and the thing about it with these readings is that these readings if you whatever energy you start the year with you're going to be ending up it's like um a circle because you guys are bonded in the energy shift from 23rd until 29 so if you were born like on the 25th you're going to start off with that energy of celebration peace but you're going to be coming around uh, feeling the energy of the success coming up with the family feeling the energy of uh, traveling feeling the energy and it's going to come around so it's a solar year that's why it's called a solar year because you're connected with each other in this this year that is going to begin so as of the 23rd right until um next year depends on who you fall in the energy with is the same energy each and every person is going to be receiving now the outcomes um for you guys and this is very important is an end an end is coming in to something now whatever this end is coming in it is coming into secrets so a lot of you and it's coming in to the secrets that was happening information things that you weren't aware of um whatever these information that you were 
unaware of the secrets are coming out these secrets is going to be ending burdens that you guys have been carrying so it's a year where you are going to be finding out a lot of information that you weren't aware of and um, these could be information that is coming out uh, about a uh, about a um, Sagittarius woman and um, some of you are going to be receiving a lot of money okay so however that is playing out in your life is that I see the end the end of some secrets the end of some secrets uh, that has to do with uh, um, that was creating burdens in your life and this secrets it, it is about money it's all about money however this is coming up is as if uh, um, some of you is going to be um, your grandmother could have left you some money or someone a mother-in-law or um, a sister or someone I had some secrets about a lot of money and I see the secrets is going to be coming out and it's going to be ending your burdens because I see that some of you because there is a lot of money that is going to be coming in whether you're working whether um, it's uh, uh, insurance payout whether it's tax whatever that has been happening and transpiring in your world so it is um, really a beautiful beautiful year um, and um, however it's affecting you come back and look at these readings because it's going to be affecting you in a positive way because whatever the secrets was with someone that was keeping some secrets about some money I see this is going to be coming out it's a very celeb um, celeb um, uh, celeb year where you're celebrating you're bringing peace back in your life you it's like you're ending all these situation all these karmatic situations so mm, I love you guys um please remember to go listen to the weekly readings and remember that these readings are only for entertainment purposes if anything apply to you now congratulations if not leave the rest ladies and gentlemen don't take things personal we just do these things um it's not personal I love you guys namaste until next time